Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. Now I know many of you will have heard of the big farmland bird count. The NFU has been working very closely on this for a number of years with the Game and Wildlife Conservancy Trust. And I'm absolutely delighted to be able to say that this has been a record breaking year with the number of farmers that we've had involved, seeing an 81% increase in the number of birds counted and 25 of those species currently on the red list. And of course, all of this taking place on over a million hectares of farmland. So a fantastic result and many, many congratulations to all of those that took part. When we're talking about good news stories as well, I just wanted to update you on our engagement with the Blue Peter team because we had a number of calls from members being really critical and upset of the climate green badge uh, that Blue Peter were awarding and linking it to taking meat free days. Um, the engagement has been really good, very positive. They've been out and visited a Welsh farm, um, very much changing their messaging and, and really keen to talk about to us about sustainable livestock production. So really good news. I had a call yesterday as well with my opposite numbers in France, the FNSEA and the French president, Christiane Lambert. Many things to discuss, not least the issues around sea potatoes and border control points. Um, absolutely key that we establish uh, our trade in breeding stock. At the moment, this is, this is not being possible because of the situation in Calais. So I'm hoping that can be resolved. Obviously, a critical situation with sea potatoes. Uh, and other aspects of trade, but a lot of common ground and really important that we keep building the relationships with these other countries, which are our closest trading partners. So as much as I speak to the Australians, the Americans, the Canadians, really important too that we have that engagement across um, member states and make sure that all trade routes remain open and farmer level. It's, of course, in all our interests to achieve that. I can't let this vlog pass without uh, making comment about the very, very sad passing of the Duke of Edinburgh. He's been an enormous advocate of British uh, farming, of rural life in general. Um, he really has been an, an exemplar, both uh, himself and the Queen and the rest of the royal family for the support that they give us. And I know I speak on behalf of all of you of saying how much our thoughts are with the Queen at this moment in time. Very sad news. Um, and with that, I'll end this vlog for this week by, as always, wishing you well. Please stay safe. And I very much look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.